Could the coronavirus become resistant to disinfectants and hand sanitizer? And is it safe to take a class indoors at a senior center? WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall joins us live to answer some of your coronavirus questions. And doctor, I want to jump right in with a question from Gail in Tewksbury who writes, is it safe to take classes such as Tai Chi indoors at a senior center? Gail, anytime you get a bunch of people together indoors, especially if you're not wearing masks, and especially if they're seniors there, you're really taking a risk. But Tai Chi is one of those activities that's so fun to do outdoors. Maybe they can do some exer exercise classes outside while the weather is still nice. We hope that lasts for a while, too. Debbie and Needham is asking, how are children and college students who are contracting COVID-19 doing with their recovery? Does it take them as long as older adults to recover? Well, we know that children and young adults do tend to do better with coronavirus than older adults, but that doesn't mean that they all bounce back really quickly. In fact, there was a recent report from the CDC that found about 20% of young adults ages 18 to 34 were still having symptoms two to three weeks after infection, even if they didn't have any underlying health problems. You know, right now, doctor, all of us have hand sanitizer on our desks and in our cars and just about everywhere. And Mark wants to know if there's actually a danger of the virus becoming resistant to disinfectants and hand sanitizers. That's a good question because we always talk about antibiotic, antibiotic resistance when it comes to bacteria. But this virus in particular has a lipid outer shell that's very vulnerable to disinfectants and to hand sanitizers. So it is highly unlikely that they're going to stop working. So continue to slather it on. That's right. Doctor, thank you. Dr. Malika offers her best advice, but as always, consult your personal doctor before making any decisions about your health. And if you have a question for her, there are three ways that you can reach out to her. First, email drmalika at cbs.com. You can also reach out to her on Twitter, at Malika Marshall, or you can Facebook message her, Dr. Malika Marshall. Mm -hmm. Paul.